Welcome to Adhvena 24. Today on our special presentation, we thought of looking at a certain segment in society that we haven't really gotten to get familiar with for quite some time, but has a huge impact and has been impacted by the pandemic situation within the country. So we brought together two individuals who will give us context to this and talk about what them, they as an industry have tried to sustain within themselves and bring these communities together so that as an industry, they could flourish and the people that work within this industry which is massive, could flourish as well. So I'm joined by Roshini Fernando and Sujiban Sadimurtu. Roshini Fernando is the president of Market Research Society and Sujiban Sadimurtu is the president of 4As. They will give us an introduction to a new initiative as to how they have gotten together, bringing this entire industry, this advertising industry per se, and how to give us some context as to what businesses and entrepreneurship has been going through and their weave of how it has been going through in the country. So. My first question to you both uh, will be, before we get into all of this, if you could give us uh, a little bit of context actually, by, by starting off with, how have you all read this entire situation? I believe you all work with clients day in and day out, even uh, when it comes to the pandemic, it doesn't mean that the entire industry has come to a halt, but it has been continuing. So if you all could uh, give me, if I start with Roshani, um, how have you all read this situation? How has it impacted the industry? We'll take that in the first segment and move from that point on. Yeah, so this industry, um, so this is a collective of uh, many industries and one of the first things that we realized is that um, while uh, a lot of people look at how do we sustain the business, but one of our first key concerns has been how do we sustain the people within the industry. Uh, so that was the starting point uh, of this collective coming together to make sure that people don't lose their livelihoods because uh, it is the responsibility of employees uh, and the, this collective, which is a large collective, uh, to make sure that uh, all of these people who draw a livelihood from, from the Marcom industry really uh, are sustained. Mm -hmm. So this initiative came about to that end, mm -hmm. uh, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Roshni gives us uh, uh, give good like, sort of entrance to where we need to go with our discussion. Uh, so, Jiman, if you could uh, give your take on, before we get into the initiative as well, your take on how you have seen this entire situation within the country. How has it impacted the economy? How has it impacted your clients? How has it impacted you as a person who is an actor in this industry? And then we'll move on to why this organization had to initiate to have to come together. Uh, thank you, Danidu, for ha having us here. I think uh, it's no rocket science to say that uh, I think most industries are impacted by this uh, COVID-19, but the interesting point for us is that uh, as an industry of advertising and advertising services, if you take, uh, our last financial year started badly mm -hmm. uh, with the Easter Sunday attacks and it ended with COVID-19 uh, March and then this financial year has started with what it is now. So if you talk to most agencies and, uh, and all, the, all its services, it's sad that uh, there have been lots of uh, layoffs, mm -hmm. uh, salary cuts, uh, downsizing. And the detrimental part of that is that it has started already. Uh, uh, and the real impact of that could be seen like in June, July. Mm -hmm. So if it has started already, you can imagine what it is going to be in the months of June. Mm -hmm. So obviously, Work is moving with clients and agencies and uh, everyone are working from home, uh, using new technologies, getting into you know, different, different meetups. Um, it is happening, the work is happening, but at what rate uh, the work is happening and uh, at, at what rate will we bounce back is a question to see uh, in the coming months. Mm -hmm. But definitely uh, the impact is, uh, the ripples are felt far mm -hmm faster than we expected. Even though it, uh, uh, the sad thing is that this, the industry gets affected immediately because clients immediately uh, cut budgets mm -hmm. uh, conveniently. <laughs> uh, so even if, uh, if we start with you and then we we'll move back to Roshini, uh, if you could uh, give us an introduction to this uh, initiative. What exactly is your take on it? How did this come about? Uh, what is the entire you know, foundation upon which it went forward? Okay. Yeah. So, so this initiative is called the Marcom Collective. It is, it is a collection of professionals uh, who represent six associations. 
uh, which uh, the six associations uh, talk work from 13 sectors. So that's how uh, that's the broad aspect of it. So the six associations would be uh, the MRSSL, who, the Market Research Society of Sri Lanka, who reads it, and then you have the IAA, you have the Forays, uh, you have the Event Management uh, Association, you have Sri Lanka um, Printers Association, you have the Video and Production uh, Association, who are all part of this. So it's a collect collective who have come together. It's not a body uh, as such, it is not a formed or a legal body. It is obviously uh, because of a situation like this, all associations, all members uh, have come together to form this for one, uh, one big uh, cause, uh, which uh, we will talk uh, later in the, in the program. Yeah. Uh, Roshni, what is your take on the initiative? How have you read the entire requirement that gave birth to this initiative? Or where do you think it's going to be heading? We'll talk about that in the latter stages also, but yes, what's your take on the initiative? Uh, so as uh, Sugabhavan said, uh, so this, uh, all of these 14 industry sectors that have uh, come together, um, sadly were not working at a collective level previously. Though associations existed, uh, its membership represented only maybe about 10 to 15 percent of uh, the players in those industries. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously there is resistance because your first uh, uh, response is we are competing so we don't want to work together so there is a sense of threat but in situations like this is when you realize that collaboration is uh, absolutely important uh, leaving behind the the competitive scenario we need to survive we need to uh, work together and one of the things that we've done here also is that in this industry there are uh, big players and there are small players okay, there are individuals as well who operate in these uh, sectors across all of these sectors from photography to advertising you you've got um, one man um, outfits uh, so our intention is to gather everyone together you know from the individual who is working in this sector two larger organizations who have uh, larger numbers of um, employees who have who, who also need to be protected so i think uh, on that note that that's, that gives us kind of the context as to which uh, the kind of motive that is behind uh, this entire organization uh, so even, um, people would like to understand as of now i think keeping the initiative or the side if you're what is your reading on the current markets in the country what what do you think the consumers are doing as of now where do you think this initiative is it is a people centric and it looks at the organizations the most uh, how do you think it has it will support them or support these organizations as a whole in understanding the market as of now because most people are in their homes uh, consumers are not walking around what is your reading on that like how has the market changed between with time uh, i think if you if, for any person who's working i think in, in any company um, but let's just focus on this at the moment there is a sort of a limbo situation right now in terms of your job, mm -hmm. in terms of what is in store for the next two to three months. Mm -hmm. And that is a bad place to be if you're working in a company. So an initiative such as this, it gives, I believe, should give some hope. Mm -hmm. It should give some hope and uh, to feel that there is a body which is doing something for us. Mm -hmm. Um, because uh, you, you get these sort of uh, associations coming together and doing work uh, as a collective in different uh, mature markets. Um, <laughs> e even uh, India has done uh, uh, initiation like this. So, so that hope, uh, I think people would uh, get mm. that uh, and to seek even some advice. Um, so it is an evolving concept. So that is where that, that is where the initiative stands right now. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a very good introduction to our entire program. Maybe we can take it from that point onwards. We'll uh, we have a lot more to talk about. We'll take a very short break and we'll come back into this discussion. You are on our special presentation program on Update Twenty Four. Stay with us. We are back on our special presentation program on Adhan 24. We are talking about exactly 
The economic sort of impact and the impact specifically on this advertising industry that has been was growing with the country that uh, the pandemic ha has been having, given that people are in their homes, they, they are lockdown measures, but people have taken a significant sign of hope, I should say, in understanding what the future holds for them because they have really been put into a place where they can question themselves. Now, the, the question then lies, have how businesses started questioning themselves and whether they have really understood their capacity and the kind of third party in third world sort of third forces that could arise such as this pandemic that has come up as of now something that most people couldn't predict or wouldn't have predicted for quite some time so my next question is going to be uh, on the businesses themselves the clients that you work with what should be their primary focus? Now, we need to talk about the initiative. We need to talk about exactly how the initiative looks at this as well. Uh, businesses right now, if Roshani could give us a small introduction into this, uh, how have y'all read businesses? How have y'all read, you know, sort of like categorized where there should be focus on when it comes to this initiative, when it comes to uh, businesses in general and your initiative in general? And what should businesses be looking at right now? Who should they be safeguarding? Is it their business interests or the people that they work with? How do you read this situation? Yeah. So, um, so our initiative also came about uh, looking at it from a, a people's angle as well as from the country and the economy angle as well because uh, this collective of industries uh, play a, a pivotal role in actually um, driving the economy forward. So that's why, you know, so if there is no consumption, then everything becomes a, a negative cycle. Mm -hmm. So consumption that drives the economy forward and we really are the engine right. behind it that facilitates it, that stimulates. Uh, so the, the group that has come together, the industry sectors, uh, and you know, there was a lot of thought that went into it in terms of whom, because it started with a small group like advertising and research, but then we realized, no, there are other bigger players in this who we work together, we, are, uh, we collaborate, and it's an interdependent uh, industry. Mm -hmm. So it's important that you don't leave anybody out uh, in this interdependent uh, industry because sometimes uh, the ones that are in the uh, front line tend to sort of uh, take the initiative uh, and go forward. So here we are covering really the advertising um, uh, sector, the market research sector, event management sector, uh, still photography, media planning and uh, buying companies, then digital advertising companies, uh, public relations companies, the outdoor advertising companies, the promotion and signage organizations, um, telecasting and broadcasting media institutions, print, uh, online, uh, video production companies, magazine publishers, activation companies, and printing and packaging companies. So it's a mouthful in terms of um, uh, 13 um, yeah. sectors and imagine, and right. we don't know how many players are there in the 13 sectors. Mm -hmm. So that has been one of the first uh, barriers we had in taking this forward because we don't know who who is there because everybody is not connected. True. So I think one of the downsides has been in, in a crisis situation, if you're connected, it's easy to get started and moving on something. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've had this um, barrier before us, mm -hmm. which, which is what we're trying to solve. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Roshani points out something very important. I think she really gave us a taste of what the objective behind the organization is as well. Uh, a two-pronged question to you. Uh, if you could uh, mention to us uh, exactly how you have read what businesses, the, the focus of business, your clients, be it businesses in general, should be as of now. And secondly, if we just really touch on the uh, initiative as well. Uh, now, Roshani pointed out the kind of sectors that you'll have been looking at. How has the reception been like? Uh, how many industries have gotten together with, with y'all? Like, what, what does that network look like so that we can really get a picture of how many people are harmed, how, what, how big this industry is, and how many people want you know, this networking to happen? Because if this can really like spill over into other industries as well, I think it becomes something that's very important for the people to be, for their, be there for each other. Uh, it's very important at this point. Yeah, like you really said, the the interesting part is when you look at the uh, when you look at the collective, the, the thirteen sectors which are part of this. If you really drill really it down, the number of people that are there to produce. Example: If you take advertising, or if you take the system of 
uh, from developing a campaign to uh, uh, producing a film or uh, whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. There are so many people who are mm -hmm. uh, part of that process, from the director to the production house, to the assistant directors, to the film boys, to the film crew, to the you know the line producers, to the T boys, to the set guys, to all that. So this entire thing gets affected when, when an example, an idea industry gets affected. Okay. So this whole thing, what we want is that we don't want that people to be left behind. Uh, we, we, we urge uh, and we hope uh, companies will sort of uh, try by all means to look after them. Um, and, and we want to support those companies uh, by coming up with this collective. We want to give them, uh, like I said earlier, we want to give them hope and, and to see what we can do after uh, we achieve our stage one of our task. Mm -hmm. um, that's uh, the that's, uh, that's kind of answer for my your first question. Uh, in, terms of the, in terms of the reception for this, see the thing on this entire scenario is that when we started, we did not have a single clue about how big this business is or how small this business is. So, but we had an estimation that our business in terms of human capital would be around 50,000 people, mm -hmm. direct. And indirect was about 150 to 175,000. After this initiative, we believe the numbers could go really high. But when we had a estimation of our value of our industry, we estimate about 250 billion. But that too will be doubled or tripled after we do this. Mm -hmm. So why we did this was, when you get an estimation of the current industry, then you know that you could size it up with any other industry and say, okay, versus this industry, I'm at this place. Mm -hmm. So that is a starting point for the initiative, mm -hmm. to gauge yourself where you stand. What is, how many number of people do you have? How many number of dependents? How many, what is your total value of your list? Mm -hmm. So without knowing that, uh, being a business for this long, um, we thought that would be the first stage of uh, collecting that information. Mm -hmm. So that becomes the stage one where we want to collect those information and quantify ourselves. Uh, secondly, obviously, uh, after we gather it, uh, you need that information ver verified, uh, you need that information uh, documented, and uh, we will uh, talk to the re relevant authorities, policy makers, and make long-term uh, suggestions uh, for the industry as a whole. Mm -hmm. So that it is not for the next three months, but for six months, one year, so that you uh, are able to bounce back as, a, as an industry. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, in a nutshell, is uh, what this is uh, mm -hmm. all about. Roshani, if there's anything you'd like to add to that, since we are discussing on lines of objective and things that people should bear in mind, specifically businesses, when to bear in mind when it comes to the initiative also there's a lot of thinking that went behind it. Anything else you'd like to add on in terms of objective, in terms of uh, where this is heading? Because my next question is going to be on how practical it is, how long term it is going to be, uh, where we are going to head with this, what are the end goals? So uh, what is your reading on the situation? Yeah, I mean, as Sugi said, I mean, that, that has been what motivated us and um, got us started uh, really this whole desire to sustain and desire to be part of the rebuilding plan of Sri Lanka because uh, everybody is now in a defense and manage the situation uh, mm. mode but uh, you have to also go into the mode of saying now uh, how do I recover, how do I rebuild uh, and we believe that our industry is uh, a, a critical um, part of rebuilding the economy and rebuilding Sri Lanka. So we are very keen mm -hmm. that we do that together with all the people who are part of the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, on that note, uh, if we continue from this point also and just uh, really take a look at the actors that are in play. Uh, there's the state, there's the people, there's the consumers. Um, who do you uh, believe, uh, Sujiban, if you could uh, give us a general idea of who's most affected by this entire pandemic when it comes to your industry? Who do you believe uh, the primary focus of the state maybe should be on? Uh, how do you think the state can get involved? As you mentioned, policy would be the more long-term initiative. Uh, where do you think the initiative is heading? And uh, how do you think we can make more long-lasting changes based on the objectives? So the, uh, the 
interesting part for us so far has been that uh, from the time we uh, launched this initiative, we have got 557 companies registering with the collective, mm -hmm. which itself is a huge uh, achievement. If I just uh, add the four A's which I represent, there's only 55 members. We are getting information that there are around 296 agencies that are registered. Mm -hmm. That just shows how big mm -hmm. this industry is and which we did not know, which we knew, but it's getting validated now. That is a very big point for us, for us to know where we stand. Mm -hmm. So without knowing that, that was from the beginning our biggest issue and, and that is what we are nothing now mm -hmm. to get to that yeah. and then go and talk to uh, relevant authorities about that. Uh, on that note, we'll have to take a very short break. We'll continue that same line of thought. You're on our special presentation program on Adhya 24. Stay with us. Special presentation program here on Adhya 24. Um, we have really gotten uh, context as to what we are dealing with, how massive the impact is on the economy, how massive the impact is on the advertising, the, the players within this industry. And attached to that is a lot of people. And that is essentially why we really need to like discuss this further. Um, I want to start with uh, Roshani. Now, uh, you as a professional organization, you are involved with this with some form of uh, credibility. That is why you believe you know they should uh, continue as well. I think I think that is where both the interest stems in uh, stems from. Uh, what I need to understand now is if we could go into a bit more technicalities. You know, we'll talk about how to join and everything to, towards the latter parts. But if you could talk about essentially understanding how the economy has been damaged as of now and how we need to move forward from this point on, and people haven't you know found haven't lost hope. In this sense, why should there be hope in this specific industry, and how does this uh, the initiative manage that and move forward from that? What are the you know the elements within the characteristic features within this initiative, and how are you looking forward from that point onwards? Yeah. So what uh, as as we said, you know, we're trying to gather everybody together in the industry, and the first step is to uh, have a have a sense of what the size of the industry is. So uh, so what we're trying to do is understand what what is the the real revenue size of the industry so that we are able to say we are a industry that contributes this proportion to the gdp mm -hmm. uh, so that's our first uh, step so that starts with by understanding how much of revenue does each organization earn um, annually uh, so that's how so that's one initiative and the other is to understand how many uh, draw a livelihood from the industry. So these are the two most critical factors that we need to know in order to be even be able to present anything to policy makers, influence policy makers and look at how do we collaborate with the government and stuff like that. Um, so, um, so because these are very sensitive information that we're trying to get from organizations, uh, the first thing is there's a lot of resistance to uh, impart such information because uh, there is fear who is going to use it, is this going to be used against me. Mm -hmm. So that's why the Market Research Society stepped in uh, because we are a, a collective governed by a code of ethics um, which is a global code of ethics of ESOMA where we completely, I mean when we get sensitive data like this, we ensure uh, the confidentiality and the fact that we don't divulge the identity of any of the people who have furnished the required information. So we've launched an online survey uh, where we've invited all, all industry players across these 13 industries, whether you're a, a, a small business of one individual to a large uh, organization, uh, to come and furnish the information online. And uh, so it's completely uh, confidentially and at the highest level of ethics that it is being managed. Uh, so nobody knows any of the people who, you know, nobody's names are divulged, uh, nobody's revenues are divulged, it's at the aggregated level that uh, we would then get to know that the size of this 13 uh, segment uh, Marcom industry is of this size. So, 
Sugi was talking about mm -hmm. an estimated size and he, he yeah. we think that it might be doubled uh, given the kind of uh, excellent participation that we've had because we always thought people were resistant to uh, collaborate but we realize maybe it's the circumstance that is causing people to uh, participate as well so we've had um, amazing participation so far. I think uh, in terms of reception, it has been uh, quite successful, this is what both of you all have been mentioning to us. Uh, Sujivan, um, given your experiences within the industry as well, something if we you know, take a step back and look at this, what are the lessons that you all have learned through being in this initiative, being in this industry for, this, for so long and witnessing the kind of reactions that people have been having to the pandemic? If I you know, take a step back from the initiative as well, personally, what do both of you feel exactly uh, is happening uh, around you, around within the industry as well, within the companies that you all work for? Well, where do you think we can move forward? My specific question is going to be, what are the lessons that we are learning as of now? I, I think general uh, sentiment is that most people, you uh, can forget the industry, is sort of an eye-opener, I guess, uh, took a, like a real step back at life and then uh, think what really matters to you, what matters most, uh, it's sort of an um, eye-opener for everyone. Mm -hmm. So the same thing happens to each in individual and the industry. Uh, so whoever has been operating maybe for 10 years or maybe for 20 years or maybe for 30 years, everyone had the same eye open. Mm -hmm. So you sort of look back at your business, you look, at, look back at your model, look back at uh, how you dealt with your clients, look back at how you treated your clients, mm -hmm. everything gets mm -hmm. into perspective. Um, it is a self-realization about yourself. Um, did I do something right in the past? You know, should I continue doing that? Mm -hmm. You know, was the way I looked after people was it right? You know, it's 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 a very simple thing, but this taught us. Even even though the sad part is the impact was uh, harder, mm -hmm. but um, maybe that is a lesson we should never forget. What uh, the COVID nineteen taught us individually, professionally, and as a and for the country. The thing is, we will fight back. Uh, we as a nation, we will. We as an industry, we will. The only issue and the only question that we have to ask ourselves is what is the rate uh, the fight uh, will come back? You know, How fast can we recover? That, I think, is going to be the question from a lot of business leaders. Um, and that's why this collective, we feel, that will help you um, to, get, uh, to get that speed mm -hmm. um, a bit faster. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, on, the, <laughs> on that note, if I uh, could uh, just like generally shift the question that we had with Roshini as well, uh, in terms of how can people join in? What is the process through which uh, uh, people would you know, be bringing people together on this platform? Like how are we all moving forward from this? Uh, given your kind of take, everyone has been put into a separate location, like really think about what has been happening in, within the industry. Uh, moving forward with this initiative, how, how does it occur? If you could give us a bit more like details. Uh, see, the, uh, the initiative is very focused right now. Mm -hmm. It's uh, A, get the numbers, uh, size the business uh, in terms of man uh, capital, uh, manpower, and then the, the turnover for the business. Maybe in time, uh, we could evolve into uh, looking into new avenues. We are getting suggestions from uh, different uh, people who are participating in it, which is lovely. Mm -hmm. um, there, are, there are questions like, I do this sort of work, uh, I don't fall into this. So we said, no, no, so you can fall into this sort of category. Mm -hmm. So that sort of information has been shared. Uh, we see different uh, sectors sharing it with uh, different other sectors who are their friends, uh, who, who in return are sending us uh, messages and asking whether we can join which is fabulous. We are getting um, messages from different parts of the country, which is fabulous. Uh, we believe that we are very, you know, very urban-centric uh, business, not at all. Uh, the responses we are getting is far, far from that, mm -hmm. uh, which is very good to see. Um, so, yeah, so it's a, uh, it has reached uh, a quite a, a depth uh, of different different people because there was a lot of advertising that was done mm -hmm. in different different uh, mediums and I think uh, people have seen it and and what really uh, surprised us 
is that um, the level of which they're participating. We were skeptical at the beginning whether they would um, because uh, there are this industry could have uh, reservations <laughs> reservations sometimes um, mm -hmm. but um, yeah. it looks like finally they've come together <laughs> the has been high. Um, so on that note I think we'll move into our last segment talk about how you know this mechanism could be re-emphasized with this program as well how we could bring more people together we are going to go into our last segment we are talking about exactly the kind of impact uh, this virus this pandemic has had on different industries within this country and specifically the advertising industry stay with us as we go into our last segment on this special presentation program back on our special presentation program. Uh, this is our last segment, so moving to our last segment, we'll go into a more conclusive note on today's program. Um, this initiative, I think it was a brilliant idea. We're bringing the kind of communities that need to be brought together. Uh, something I want to ask both of you all is, now, just lay out exactly how people could combine, people could you know, bring this resource together, people could create this network you know, in a solid sort of fashion. So we'll touch on that and then move on to exactly how we're going to look forward as a country and how we could bounce back from you know, the e economic impacts of all of this. Because we see most countries around the world, their economies, the GDP, the economy as a whole is shrinking. We really need to understand how what's happening to this country as well in order to move forward. So I think this initiative does a lot of that as well. Uh, Roshani, if you could uh, give us your take personally on how we could bring communities together, how the initiative you know, facilitates that and how you all have facilitated that and then we'll move on from that point. So, um, so far as we were uh, discussing, I mean, we've had very good response. We've had um, 550, uh, close to 550 responses uh, within, I think, um, a span of 10 days yeah. or so. Uh, and um, so, and we've done a lot of media reach uh, on TV, radio, press, and as well as through the digital media. So what we want people to do is, I mean, 550 have participated. So we would like each of you also to take this message to any colleagues you know, any family and friends you know uh, amongst you who are also players in the industry. Uh, so again, a lot of people think that I have to have a registered organization uh, to be part of the, uh, the collective, and it's not the case. If you are an individual also, you can. Uh, so what we would really urge is because uh, this uh, survey, so the, the survey that uh, we're doing to collect the information um, is open until the 7th. I mean, we were going to close it on the 30th of uh, April, mm -hmm. uh, but because of the response, we feel that there is still more who, whom we could uh, actually gather into this. So therefore, it's open till the 7th of May. And uh, what we really want is spread the word across uh, to as many uh, because I think word of mouth is the most powerful source, convincing source uh, because we guarantee that there is complete confidentiality, nothing will uh, be you know leaked out or nothing at all so because the society is handling it and so society's uh, reputation is at stake mm -hmm. so uh, therefore what is important and what we are looking forward to is to get to close to 100% uh, of uh, those in the industry to participate in the right. uh, the, the assessment mm -hmm. and then after that we could look at working collectively moving forward. Uh, Sujiman, if you could uh, give us your take on this, how will this entire construct work in addition to what Roshani had to mention uh, in terms of the initiative and then we move on to a general take of uh, the economy as a whole? Yeah, so the, we, we, how, how you join this initiative, we kept it very simple. So you just uh, send a WhatsApp message to uh, 76 7057 and uh, you will get a, a survey link. And it takes uh, about two minutes uh, to answer that. It has about eight questions. And uh, that's it. Uh, so we want that stage to uh, speed up and uh, get more people uh, immediately because we want to move uh, fast on the next stages because uh, because we see good uh, reception for this initiative. So now we quickly want to move into the second stage or third stage and, and get cracking with this whole uh, idea. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so, uh, I mean, uh, in fact, 
there were lots of calls last night uh, about um, can we get this person involved. I said, yeah, of, of course you can, because more the better. Uh, and everyone has come together at a point like this, so it's fine. So, which, which we believe is the strength right now. Um, and I think uh, going forward, uh, we will add uh, certain things, uh, certain new uh, initiatives to this, looking at the feedback which we are getting from on the people mm -hmm. uh, and, and companies. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think uh, that puts into place exactly when it comes to initiative, what is being done, the kind of aspects that you all have been looking at for quite some time. If I take your personal views, given that you all are leading your own organizations, uh, and you all have to be responsible for your people as well, uh, which is a huge responsibility in times like this where you can't really predict what is going to happen tomorrow when when we are going to shift. So we need to, I think, what we as a media organization also has understood this, is this living with the pandemic is something that we need to get used to because it's not something we can generally, you know, interpret as in leaving in the near future. We have to be used to this kind of climate for some, quite some time. Roshani, uh, on final thoughts, on a conclusive note also, uh, how will we be looking forward as a country, as economy, as businesses in the, in, in the country? Uh, how can we come out of this? Where do you think we should position ourselves uh, in moving forward? How do you think companies should you know, be receptive to organizations like what you all are doing and uh, them as a whole? What should be their focus? What What is your, you know, in, on a final note, what do you have to say? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I think um, this has been a crisis that has uh, changed lives, changed the way people think, has changed the way people behave. So, uh, the discussion is that there's going to be a new normal. So, and this new normal starts at the individual level, at the country level, and at the world level. So, um, so it is important that uh, we as people who are responsible for um, understanding people, uh, looking at how we design communication, uh, that new normal has to be designed very carefully. So there is there are lots of cultural implications. Uh, the way people behave today is linked to a lot of uh, culture, uh, what we believe is right. And we're asking some fundamental questions as well in terms of are we behaving responsibly? Mm, are we doing the right thing? Uh, about relationships, you know, who matters to us, does, you know, just being very work uh, and um, uh, livelihood oriented, is that enough? Uh, has life got to be beyond that? You know, so these are all of the questions which now have to get designed into solving some of the human problems uh, in order to come out of uh, this. So I think every Sri Lankan has a responsibility to design the new Sri Lanka, All right. the post-pandemic new Sri Lanka. <laughs> I think that puts uh, into context exactly what we should be doing as a whole, yeah. as an individual, because that the fight comes from that point onwards, how the behavior of an individual should change. Uh, so given, if you could uh, give your take on this as well, uh, how have you understood the entire situation? What do you think? businesses, individuals should be doing looking forward because yesterday or in the past few days most uh, the, the medical personnel mentioned to keep hope, have that hope alive and you know, look forward to this work with the state in, in, in the measures they're taking. Mm, rarely do we hear from the business community where the kind of struggles that they have to go through for quite some time. Uh, what is your entire take? How should these behavioral changes happen? See the, the interesting part for me has been um, talking to uh, different uh, business owners, different sectors, uh, all that. Since most of the time, uh, most organizations, uh, agencies, or the services which we all depend on, talk about the culture they have in their organizations. You know, they say they are like family. They say um, it's a culture which we, um, which we are proud of. This puts that culture to test. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, you have to be amazingly cool if you can hold on to that culture. So I would say to turn on your culture uh, of your individual organizations, which are obviously people-centric, so which automatically means uh, look after your people, mm -hmm. um, and they will come good when, um, I can't say when this, uh, when this ends, but while working uh, with COVID, Mm -hmm. You have to turn to people. So they are the ones who are going to help you uh, get businesses back. Mm 
mm-hmm. and we are in essentially you know, people's business. Mm-hmm. So it's not rocket science to just try to hold on to your people and look after them, mm-hmm. and we will come true. <laughs> All right. I think uh, that really is very comprehensive. I thank both our guests, Sugiyo and Satyamutu, who's the president of 4As, and Roshani Fernando, who is the uh, who's the head at uh, Market Research Society. Uh, I thank both our guests for joining us. I thank our viewers for joining us. We gave uh, the kind of context uh, that has been required from this very industry, this industry that has a lot of communities based on it, communities dependent on it. And uh, we couldn't really uh, discuss most, more of that within the media. And I think they gave a really good context as to how it should go forward. They gave a context as to the initiative uh, that has taken place to bring these communities together, to bring this uh, advertising industry together, which is something very important as well. Uh, again, I thank our viewers for joining us. This has been the special presentation program on Adhidana 24. My name is Dan Dutanwasam. Stay with us till we bring in more comprehensive coverage of exactly what's happening with this pandemic within our country. Stay with us and stay safe.